If you like the video or any other content on the channel, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. This is our map today. It's the swamp. So I set it up kind of a little more fancy looking here. Not quite as much footprints all over the place. Just make it a little more fun. And it's hammer and anvil with sites of power. So if you have control objective in no man's land, so these three objectives in no man's land, control those with a character, you get an extra three victory points. Other than that, you get three for everyone you control up to a total of 15. We're going to use a box static, so CP reroll and new orders are two CP instead of one. This is my tau list today. I'm using the Montcon detachment. This list comes to 1995. I'm using the codex points for the crisis suits and the enhancements that I'm using. And most of this list will have gun drones, at least one gun drone in the unit, just so I can do actions with them. And everyone else will have missile drones or a shield drone. I'll let you know kind of going through the game. So from left to right, I have a unit of 10 breachers, and they are being led by a Kaja Fireblade with the enhancement to the beginning of the game. I choose an objective, and for the rest of the game, though that model is on the board, I get plus one OC for my entire army on that objective. I have a single broadside with the rail guns, and he has the twin plasma. I have a unit of Tetris. And then I have a unit of the Sunforge Crisis Suits. They are the ones with the double fusion blasters. And they are being led by a cold star commander. He has the higher burst cannon with three fusion blasters. And he has the enhancement so he can choose two units within six inches of him. And give them a six inch scout. Unit of three broadsides. And they have the twin seeker missiles. The rail guns. I have shadow sun in there. She's my warlord. I have a unit of three stealth suits. And just one of the fusion blasters. And they have a marker drone and a gun drone. I can advance and do actions. Or I can also advance and spot. I have three devil fish. I have a unit of pathfinders. And another unit of breachers with a Kaja fireblade. No enhancement with him. And all three of them are going to be going inside the devil fish. Another unit of three stealth suits. Another unit of two broadsides. And they have the twin plasma gun drones and the shield drones. I do believe that is the entire list. If I've missed anything, I'll let you know. But, as I said, this comes to 1995. Let's see how they do on the battlefield today. So, 1995 for Imperial Guard. This is my slow build-up to a Krieg army. Right here we have two Dorn tanks that uh, with the Oppressor cannons. Vanquisher Lehman Rust tank has got a Demolisher cannon on it right now, but uh, I just want to use the Vanquishers. I think it's more Krieg appropriate. Ten, gar uh, ten Kriegmen. Uh, they have a Flamer and a Sniper inside, so I have Precision. 20-man blob of Guardsmen. Uh, basically, they have uh, a Command Squad attached with it and a Psyker. I uh, gave them uh, the ability to, uh, the enhancement to vex one of two Medusas here, another Vanquisher battle tank here, uh, another Medusa, three Earthshaker cannons, and then the Colonel. If anybody knows Krieg, he's the Colonel.
four hours employment here. The Imperial Guard, the Astro Militarum, they employed all their big old Medusa and Earth Shaker cannons here behind to pound me with a whole bunch of direct fire. You see two big Dorn tanks are behind this wall. And this big old squad of guard are sitting here. A couple of Vanquisher Lehman Rust tanks here. So he's pretty much back here ready to shoot me with a whole bunch of guns and pound me into the desk with indirect fire. And for me, I put my Devilfish here so I can give this guy's ability because he has the ability to allow me to give two units within six scout. So he's going to give those two Devilfish scout. Broadsides are here behind the walls just to take cover from any kind of fire. The indirect fire still will get me nothing to do with that. Shadow Sun stand there, doing her lone operative thing. It looks like a hammerhead, but it's a devil fish. It has the Pathfinder, so I'll be able to scout with that one too. And I do put have Farsight and his there, the Sunforge, so the fusion ones in Deep Strike. So we're going to go on to first turn. So his redeploy, he just kind of shuffled his stuff around just in case I did get first turn, so I couldn't blast him as easy. So we're going to go on to first turn roll and see what happens. Okay, so yeah, a four. A three. Oh, okay. So. I'll spend a command point. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> All right, so the Tau go first in the Mont Call Detachments. Let's see how we do and what I do in the first turn. Okay, and the middle objective is the one I'm using my enhancement to give my entire army plus one OC as long as the character still on the board and he is the one that's going to be in this devil fisher here so the one with the hole in it all right and my scope moves i just scoped it up here with my pathfinder so i can get on this objective easier same with this devil fish and this devil fish here so we all just scoped up six inches i'm going to go on to my turn one and see what i draw turn one we have capture enemy opus just I was just joking with Cody Sandy. I'd love to extend battle lines and secure no man's land, capture enemy post. No thank you. Guess what I get? Then we have engage in all fronts. We might be able to get engaged with my stealth suits, but I would be losing them. We'll see what happens here. That's pretty terrible first turn draw. So on to my movement phase. Command phase, I'll go up to one CP. There's nothing to do my command phase, I do believe. So on to my turn one movement. For my movement phase, I used, I didn't advance the selfish, but I was able to bring them up enough with this 12 inch move, jump over these breachers, and I will be shooting into some of these guard units. I brought these stealth suits up here so they could see this vanquisher with a little bit of his cannon. So my broadsides, only two of them can see him, so my broadsides will shoot into him. My devilfish might shoot some of his seeker missiles into something, we'll have to see. I moved these stealth suits up. So I could spot for possibly the Devilfish if I need to. And I moved this Devilfish up onto this objective with the path. The only ones that got out of their Devil were these five breaches right here. The Crisis Suits with the Commander advanced up here behind this wall. Shadow Sun moved over here so she's close enough for her ore for reroll ones. And everything else just kind of stayed where they were. So we're going to go on to the shooting. I'll probably show you the broadsides, maybe the saves for Cody. Because this is going to be a lot of rolls, so we probably won't do this on camera. Maybe the first one. But there is a stratagem I'm going to use my shooting phase. So my shooting phase, I can pick two different units to get AP1 against a target unit. So I probably will make these breachers AP, an extra AP1 against this big blob of guard. We're going to go on to our shooting and see what happens. Since I advanced these uh, stealth suits out, so they have a gun drone, I can still spawn into the vanquisher tank for the broadsides. So they are going to... Shoot, because they get an advance as well. Advance them. So we're going to shoot. I can always see two of them into his tanky tank. So 
I'm not using any strats or anything like that, but I am close to Commander Shadow Sun, so I can get the three rolls of one. This is our kind of homemade uh, roll box for now, so uh, we'll see how it does. So I need uh, a threes to hit, since I'm plus one ballistic and I move, so I don't get the heavy. Yep. That is six is a lethal, because I'm in the... I'm in the, in the Montauk. Montauk gives me lethals on sixes. I hit every time. Strength 12, so I need threes. Sixes are deadies. Yep. EP four, I do believe. Sixes. None. None. Damn so damage. you take 2d6 plus one. Yep. You take 10 damage. And then the Devilfish is going to shoot into the... Lancashire tank as well, the Seeker Missiles. I'm not going to guide him or be spotted since I want to use him to... I'm not going to get him guided because I want to use him to spot into these squads here. So, I do hit on fours, unfortunately, with no can't even tricks or rerolls. So, that's one lethal wound. Ooh. And it's AP3. Ooh, so fast. But you get cover. Ooh. You need three damage. Yeah. Yeah. That's six. So now these breachers are going to shoot into this squad. He does have a four up and shooting in range, but I need to try to take that unit down some just to, I don't know what these things do. So I'm going to do, I've just fought more with these. So I'm going to try to kill these things because there's a psyker in there and see if I can whittle them down. I'm going to spot with the devilfish. So I will get lethal hits and I do get reroll wounds though. Cody in the start of the shooting phase did get his two up to get his Psyker and this unit here a four up in involvement shooting. So with all the shots, I did wipe out a lot of these guardsmen. There's not too many of them left, but I'm probably going to take a lot of shots onto the squad, but their whole job really is to try to hold up his army. I did manage to kill that tank with the Seeker missiles from the Devilfish, and that's pretty much my turn. I do get engaged in all fronts, because those guys do get me into the third table corner. So the points are three to zero. I am not charging anything. So that is my turn. On to turn one for the guard. Storm hostile objective. Cannot be achieved during the first battle. Wow. Because I'm on all kinds of easy objectives to kill me. Engage in all fronts. Ooh. An overwhelming force. That's not yeah. too bad. You gotta kill me on objectives. So you can kill a stealth suit. Mm -hmm. So he did get engaged in all fronts. He did pick Storm, but you can't get that turn run. So on to the Movement command phase, I'll go up to two CP since I discarded capture, and Cody will go up to two as well. Oh, three. Yes, three. I'll use math. Cody goes up to three, <laughs> and the points three. are three to zero. Moving on to the guard movement phase. This command squad is going to, oh, I got to see if they're battle shot. Yep. Colonel is going to put take aim on these three, and my command squad is going to put take aim on this producer right here. Cody's movement phase, he moved his tank out here, moved his men up here, his uh, Kree squad. He brought the squad out here, but then Overwatch for one CP, bring me down to one, but I did pretty good. I wiped out his squad. He did spend two CP to bring it back next turn, and then I brought his command squad down to just the sergeant, so not bad. It does leave his home and field objective a little more open now, and then everything else kind of just stayed the same. This big Lehman Ross came out here. And then in his shooting phase, he's going to use Expert Bombardier on this is it the Medusa or an Earth Shaker? Medusa. On the Medusa, so he can get plus one to hit. And so with him using Expert Bombardier, and if he's shooting at me indirect, he'll be hitting me on four. So that's not bad with the just indirect firepower. Cody's shooting his big old Lehman Russ, all his big guns, into my Devilfish. The like, Dorn is not a Lehman oh, Russ. Oh, Dorn, sorry. It's Dorn. like two and a half times size. They're all the same to me. All right, so uh, that's what custodians play. Everyone says my custodians. All right, so uh, the Dorn is shooting into my Devilfish, all his big guns. And the little guns into the stealth scene. So he did to hit. two shots on pulverizers. D6 plus three. For big old nine. Nine shots of five. Hitting on fours. So three. Threes. So I failed to pass two. That's minus two at three damage. Minus two. It has a three up save in cover. So fours. Yeah. Saving both. The double six. Wow. 
so now I will shoot my coaxial auto cannon into it as well. Okay. Hit you on threes this time. Hit you both times. Strength nine. Oh, double one. Double one. So oh. <laughs> roll if you like. <laughs> so heavy stubber, you're within rapid fire range. Shooting into my is that all? This is yeah. This is all. And everything else is going in stealth team guard shooting phase. He did manage to kill my stealth suits. He did manage to kill one of the models of the stealth suits over there. Did take out my breachers. And the quadrupoglia is just down to two wounds. The devilfish have not taken any damage, luckily. And my broadsides, luckily, again, only took four wounds of damage. But I did lose two of my crisis suits, so that is not the best. But now we have some charges, so let's see what happens. I do believe the Psyker's charging my fireblade, and Psyker six. makes a no. six. Probably not, no. And your priest or chat. Sergeant is going to charge. He charged. Oh. That's a nine. No, I can, he might make it. So it's a nine. And a Kreisman is going to charge your devilfish. Okay. And they make it. All right. Should have double charged. But. So the Kriegsman has charged my Devilfish. He is more than an inch away from the Contra Fireblade, so we won't get into combat with him. Or into the melee phase. So we did actually manage to do a wound to each other. I did a wound to the Devilfish, and I killed one of the Kriegsmen. Cody does get three points for killing these stealth suits for overwhelming force. So the points are three to three, going on to turn two for the Tau. Turn two draw for the Tau, I get Investigate Signals and Assassination. Let's investigate Signals. Whew. I might spend a C... Yeah, we're going to get rid of that one. Investigate Signals. It's a CP, so I'm still to one CP. So I do go up one, so I'm down to one again. For no prisoners. Much better. Need to kill stuff and assassinate some characters. So... We're going to go on to my movement phase. I'm up to 1 CP, and Cody's up to one C 2 CP since he tossed his uh, his card there. Actually, he might be at 3 I'm at 3 CP because yeah. of uh, one didn't of use that and he used I took it back, yeah. yeah. So he's at 3 CP, and I am at 1, moving on to my movement. My movement phase here for Tau Turret and Turret, I went aggressive. Monka, you've got to be aggressive. So I brought this Dev Push around here, dropped out these Breachers so I can shoot up these Kriegsmen. Farsight has dropped down here to try to deal some of these stinking batteries, not indirect fire he is firing at me. I moved the Dev Push so I can hold on to this objective. I tried to advance these fellows to try to get some shots onto this tank, but they only get a one on their advance, so they're going to be doing nothing. Delfish fell back, so he won't be able to shoot, but fell back onto the objective, just making it so he cannot, he doesn't really want to move off it that much. And then I moved all my broadsides. I did advance at this one, so I will have to do some spotting and such. But I moved over here so I could shoot all these broadsides and this big heavy firepower downrange into his vehicles. So that's my movement. I'm going to go into my shooting breachers into these Kriegsmen with the spotting from the Delfish. So with them hitting on twos, mooning on twos, because they're strength six, it real, and AP one, it kind of picked up that unit. These broadsides into the Rogal door. I am going to use the stratagem where I pick two units for one CP, pick two units, and then pick one enemy unit. And I get one more AP against that target, but I can only shoot that target. So I'm going to shoot both the broadsides into it. Shadow Sun is going to spot for this one, and the Tetras are going to spot for this group. So we'll do this group first here. What's the one CP for smoke? Smoke. Rerolling ones because of Shadow Sun. And I use a stratagem next to Shadow Sun. So with a five up, I get my CP back. A five. So 
I'm actually at, still at one CP, so that is actually pretty big because there's a lot of really cheap stratums in this Montecal detacher that are really, really good. So we're going to use these first two broadsides, and then these ones, the Tetris are spotting, I'm going to shoot their Seeker missiles too, just because we want to make, it's probably going to be overkill, but we want to make sure we take out that tank. So the first broadsides, only two of them can see, so we're going to be hitting on them, and the Seeker missiles we're going to hold on to. So I'm going to be hitting on threes, because he pops smoke, sixes will be lethal, re-rolling ones because of Shadow Sun. So we got six, and three fours, strength. 12. So I do need 4s to wound. So there's a 5 and a 4. So that's 3 at AP 5 damage D6 plus 1. But you do get cover from these guys because they can. Oh, okay. so, so you six. would get a 6 up save, yeah. What is it? Three? 3, yeah. No. no. So Three these, these are D6 plus 1 damage. He takes 12, First one 13. Zero. Okay, so he takes. So six, so he takes six, eight damage. No, wait, nine damage. Other broadsides are going to shoot into the Rogal door. How much life does he have left? Nine wounds left. Here comes the other broadsides. The same thing. They're going to be hitting on lethals on sixes, re-rolling ones. Gross, buddy. I'm sorry. Sorry. Wounding again on fours. Sixes are devastating. So we got devastating. And only one. So he does have two saves, and but he doesn't have cover against this one. So oh, he does because you are getting cover from your, that big black thing. These are just the Debbie wounds. Oh, two Debbie wounds plus uh, seven. Yeah, plus five. Are he dead? Does he blow up? No. no. So the Rogel Dorn is dead. Seeker missiles are wasted. They are one shot, and I was allocating to them. I don't think. How does that work? Since they didn't, sh but they all shoot simultaneously. They so, all shoot simultaneously. Yeah. So I already targeted, so my seeker missiles are gone for this unit, but that's one big bad tank gone. So on to some more shooting and see what I can do. I do believe Farsight is going to do shoot here next, and he's going to use the stratagem so he gets plus one AP as well. I may look in my book of tricks see what else I have, but I think that's going to be that. Tau turn two shooting phase went quite well. I was able to pick up the Rogal Dorn. I took out these Kriegsmen. I did take out one of these uh, Earth Shakers or Medusas. One of these indirect pulverized me into dust cannons. So I do have quite good mid board control. And I've taken out some of his big shooting units. He is going to hit back quite hard. Hopefully I'll have enough stuff left on the board to keep putting the pressure on and staying ahead of the points. So we're going to go on to turn two. Well, actually, I'm going to charge. I'm going to try charge at this might be a little too bloodthirsty. I kind of lost a game being bloodthirsty not too long ago. But I'm going to put, because he's going to take a lot of fire anyways. So let's charge Farsight into this tank. This cannon. So he needs a big charge. Yeah. A double six. Farsight is mad. So Farsight makes it in. Let's see what happens in the melee. Farsight did make it in. So he's going to do his attacks now. He has four attacks. Hitting on twos. Strength 10. AP to damage three, I do believe. Yeah, so we're gonna go, so we need twos. That's six, four, four, five. Strength 10, so I do need threes. Whew. And he does only wound you once. AP. Ooh, do I wanna, how much wounds they have? Seven. Ah, uh, does, yeah, AP two. Go, sir. Three damage. Farsight, you could have been a hero. He's still, he's not bad, and it does tie that Earthshaker up, so he'll, he'll have to fire at minus one to hit, or up and move it to shoot it. We'll find out. So, let's play see what the points are, and we'll go on to turn two for the guard. Points for the Tau at the end of turn are 14 to 3. I do get five points for no prisoners. I'm going to hold on to Assassination, just because Cody does have some characters on the board. I did regen, I did regen a CP from Shadow, so I'm not sure if that procs that thing or not. So either way, I will just uh, hold on to assassination. So on to turn two for the guard. Aerial denial. Capture enemy. Capture enemy outpost. Do you want to uh, possibly uh, toss that one, buddy? Uh, I'm going to toss that one. Okay. No prisoners. No prisoners and aerial denial. Not bad, because I don't have anyone in within, I don't know if it's within three or within six, because it might be within six, but we'll see about that. He might be able to just kill them and get the three, because if, if I don't have anyone within the center, he can get three points for that. 
So on to his movement. I am at 2 CP. And Cody is at 4 CP. All right. So on to Cody's movement phase. His uh, his big command squad or his big squad of guard are going to come back this turn. Let's see what happens. End of the command phase. He does get three victory points for holding on to the objectives. The score goes up to 14 to 6 for the Tau. movement. Cody did move his tank up here to try to get aerial denial, which I'm pretty sure he's going to get. Um, his Rogel Dorn just swivered over a little bit so he can get some shots onto core. Uh, taking. Farsight, possibly. Taking, taking, and fix that. All right, so there's all his orders and his reserves of or this big old squad of guardsmen came back in his home field objective to try to just defend against me from taking his home field. And so Cody did move his Lord Soliantis also closer to Farsight. Because I was talking some trash before he came over that Farsight was going to come kill him himself. So I think he's going to try to kill Farsight. So on to the movement or on to the shooting from the guard. Let's see if the town could weather the storm. The extra tank is shooting into my Devilfish. He missed with his first shot from the last cannon, but here's some more. Strength 18. Uh, minus 4. Okay, minus 4. He didn't miss. You're Sorry. Vulnerable. Uh, on my uh, yep. Devilfish. Yep. Oh, he doesn't have a vulnerable. How minus four? Go through. Wow. Okay. So D6 plus 6, 12 damage. D6 <laughs> plus 6. He is dead. <laughs> does he blow up? Hope not. I hope so. He, uh, he does oh. blow up. Oh, no. <laughs> no! So all these three take it. This guy takes it in your Fireblade. Okay. Fireblade first. Fireblade first, yeah. Fireblade. He has two wounds. Six, he's dead. Or he takes three wounds. Uh, your tank, tank, back tank, takes one. Your spiker takes two. And your sergeant takes well, he's three. Dead. And your you assassination. earth shaker takes one. Ooh, I do get assassination, don't I? Nice, because... And earth shaker takes one. Yes, all right, so that wasn't too bad. I did lose my Delphish, but he goes out in a ball of fiery revenge. The Psyker in Cody's shooting phase is gone, if you see, but she went out in a blaze of glory. The explosion of the Delphish brought her down to one wound, so she powered up, killed five of my breaches with her big psychic attack, which Cody made has this because, you know, for the Emperor. He rolled a one, though, so it did kill her. But he did. she did take her pound of flesh out with her before she went. So on to more shooting, and let's see what happens. So the Rogaldor in here, he moved him so he could not be shot by these broadsides, but he's going to shoot into my devil fish with everything he's got. Hey, this one. Strength nine. That's a wound. Okay. Minus one. Minus one. Hey, yeah. Six. Saves oh. it. It's good you needed that save because now it comes to big gun. D6. <laughs> Gotta love these black dice. Yeah, uh, they uh, they treat you well, they do. D6 plus 3, so hitting on 4. By well, I mean. Gross. Uh, terrible. That's, yeah. What was that? Show we sorry one? That's 2 2 1 1. Yeah, just after he rolled a 1 for the amount of shots. Good old black dice. I think yep. those are gonna, they're going to get a reputation on this channel. I, I like, I, they do, but I like the dice. They look cool. The skull in it and everything. Yeah. Was that all, all right. Was that all the shooting? Yeah, it's all the shooting because everything else is melted. Oh, okay. Well, that's uh, a little anticlimactic. The Rogel Dorn here shot into my Devilfish and those black dice. So, we don't like to blame the dice on the channel, but uh, those are, we can blame them. Cody, even though like he's, he doesn't have the best of his luck on the channel, we always have fun. Just a fun game to laugh. And so his stinking indirect cards went awful. His first shot obliterated my um, crisis suits there. He died and brought this crisis suits down to three. Then he shot another Medusa and an Earthshaker. And then, no, I didn't have this one's left to shoot. So he's probably, yeah, he still has more shooting left. I'll just kind of go over the fact that he shot a lot I'm into him. And he, sh he should be dead, so. We have some shots at the devilfish coming. I'm shooting at the devilfish. All right, shooting at the devilfish. Three de three shots. Okay. Uh, so he has taken heavy. Yeah, those all hit probably. Those all hit. Strength ten. Threes. Those all one. Oh no. AP minus three. Okay, so fives. 
I take save two of them. So he did get six shots onto my commander with last uh, canny canny here. And he's probably wouldn't be on twos again. Okay, so I need to make five, five minus three, four up saves. Minus three from this one. Oh, I need five, five up saves. Yeah, he tried, but my commander is dead. The rest of the shooting phase, a little recap here. Kind of because this commander squad took so much firepower, he wasn't able to really shoot anything at all. Um, Farsight and his, and his unit, except for Lord Soliantis. And then I urged Cody to not do this, but he did it anyways, because Cody, he's a wild man. He did charge Lord Soliantis into Farsight. So we're going to see how he does live. So I'm hitting you on twos. Yeah. So six attacks. Nothing I can do. I don't have any kind of uh, defensive straps that only work in range. Hit you all the time. Two, oh, no, no sustains here. Three to wound. Uh, I will spend a CP to re-roll one of those. Two CP to re-roll that. Well, two CP doesn't matter. I okay. got four. Yeah, I got lots. Swimming in it. So that is uh, four. Okay. At minus two, two damage piece. Okay, I got five up saves because I got three up saves in the suits. Yeah. Uh, uh, two damage? Yep. You take a suit down to one. Extra oh. attack from my horse. Yeah, you might be able to bludgeon him. <laughs> That's right. Down the horse. And for those who know uh, the Witcher, his name is Roach. Two attacks. Don't Hit let Roach ones. kick my head in. No, nope. no. Roach is not kicking my CP. head. Yeah, you see me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to hit back right back with Farsight. He hits with hitting on twos. That's 1-1. One, one. He has strength 10. What's the toughness of Lord Soul? 4. So 2 is to wound him. A roll of 1. So I am actually going to use his free CP. No, I already used that. So I will... Re Do I want to re-roll 1? No. I'll let him have that. So it is 2 at AP 2 damage 3. 2 at AP 2. So 4 up and vulnerable. Hey. Suck it. Nice. He has 5 down. moons remaining. Okay, Lord Soliantis has five rooms remaining. All right, so the end of the turn, Cody does get five points of arrow denial and five points for no prisoners, bringing him up to 16. So you get assassination for just blowing up. I do believe that gives me assassination because it was my devilfish explosion, but if I, doesn't, if I didn't get that one, you guys just let me know. So the points are 19 to 16 for the Tau, moving on to turn three. With my draw here, I do get Overwhelming Force and Tempting Target for turn three. Which target would you like to make tempting? Center! The center is the Tempting Target, and I will go up to three command points, and Cody goes back up to, was it, five, four? I'm at three. Three? Cody's at three, I'm at three, and I'm going to calculate the points. So I do get three points for this objective, three points for this and this for nine, and then another three for having a character on this objective. So the points are 31 to 16. Moving on to my movement for Tau turn three. Everything up as far as I could. Killing blow, I only have one more turn. This is my last turn of the Montca. So I did use a CP to give him these broadsides auto advance. So I can get two to shoot onto his big old vanquisher tank. I did try to advance this devilfish onto this objective to try to maybe steal it, but I didn't get on there. Breachers, they move back into this terrain. Firesight stayed here to try to fire some stuff into everyone to even do some damage. The stealth has moved over here so I can spot for the broadsides. And that is pretty much it. So we're going to move on to my shooting and see what damage I can get done. Broadsides first. I am going to use the strat to give them plus one to APs. We're going to pick two units. I guess we'll pick the stealth suits and the broadsides and they are going to shoot into the vanquisher tank we are going to spot with the stealth suits for the broadside so we did move so we're going to be hitting on threes are you using smoke or anything sure smoke so i am back to four so i can re-roll my hits of one made a difference i only got one hit and then two hits because i had to re-roll the ones and the strength was toughness your tank 11 i believe so yep so i probably need threes to wound Reroll ones of wound from the stealth suits, and sixes are devastating. Well, that's a two, and a 
rolled a one, so that's just one at AP five damage. AP five. Yeah, ignoring cover from the marker marker light. Well, then I don't get to see. All right, so you take seven damage. Seven. Seven. So that is not as much as I want it, but we'll go on to more shooting. Farsight, he's going to be minus one to hit because he's in combat. I'm going to put this crisis suit here and Farsight into Lord Soliorontis and these fellas into the Earthshaker. We are not being spotted by anything, so we are going to be hitting on five, so we are minus one to hit Farsight on three. So we'll do Farsight first. Two shots. He hits on threes. Hit and a miss. Um... CP reroll is two. This is a new battle round. I'm going to use my free one on Farsight for battle for CP reroll. So I do get two hits. Strength. And freeze. All twos. So that is two. Fours. Nope. You say damage three? Mm-hmm. He did. You're not going not gonna to roll CP Roy reroll? I already see my vanquisher. So that's Farsight killed Lord Slurontis. This other guy doesn't do much, so... Now just the four fusion blaster shots into the other cannon here. Once again, these guys are hitting on fives now since they are minus one to hit in combat. Two sixes, so those are two lethals right off. So okay, it was two days. D six, D six damage. Oh, oh yeah. you're melter range. So it's four. Yeah, it's six. Only seven. Only seven damage. Because you were in melter of the range. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that blows up another one. Oh, never mind, they don't blow up. Doesn't blow up, but that is another cannon gone, and that does free up Farsight. There's nowhere he can move. I can't pile into anything like that, but he is free. That is the end of my shooting. At the end of my turn, I did end up taking out Lord Soliontis. I did take out another battery. Wasn't able to take out this tank for overwhelming force. Did get um, Tempting Target. So the points are 36 to 16, going into turn 3 for the guard. Let's see what happens on turn 3 for the guard. And I will discard uh, Overwhelming Force, just because he is not on a lot of these objectives, for another CP. And Cody's turn 3 cards to the guard. He has Storm Hostile Objective and Extend Battle Lines. And he does get 3 points for this, so it's going to bring him up to 19. So the points for going into his movement phase are... 19 to 36 for the towel. All right, so Cody's movement, his big old tank has moved here to shoot at Farsight. The Rogal Dorn has moved down here to try to clear up some of these objectives, hopefully for him. Quick movement phase, not a lot of units left. And see what he can do in his turn three. Change to the movement. Since these guys are in a room with no windows, he wouldn't be able to shoot with the tanks. Shooting phase. The indirect has kind of been a little hit and miss. It has killed um, some of my pathfinders, like five or six of them. I did lose my last the crisis suit on one wound, so I have two and Farsight in there. Now, the Rogal Dorn into my broadsides, who have been doing work this game. Four attacks plus three is seven. Oh no. Fours. One, two, three, four. And I'm guessing that strength 12. Strength 12, so you would be one of them twos. Three. Three? And minus two. Ha! Ah. Oh, I fail. Two, so I am in cover from, because you can't fully see my, but I do lose, how much damage? Three damage piece. I do go down to one wound on one pella. Four, the shooting phase, yeah, and now they're kind of semi, not that good shooting phase. He did manage to take out my stealth suits over there. And both cup, a lot of my pathfinders are dead. And but, a broadside. And I took out a broadside. But other than that, I still have quite a bit of firepower left on the board. But he's going to try a nice move here. He's going to try to charge into this swamp. Because it's a kind of, we're playing it like a ruins. But he can drive into it. It's an old swamp. And see if he can tank shock me. Seven. Seven. That does make it. So he does make it in. So he does get nine dice on the tank shock. He's looking for five to sixes. It was just devastating when you wound me. What you got there, buddy? Four. Four. Oh, that is going to be gross. That might wipe the squad. Let's take a look. AP zero? Yep. Yeah. He runs me over. Mm. So he does get that objective, getting him some points. Big Keep him in the game. 
So we're going to come back and see what the points are. And we'll see what's going on for my turn four. Getting Sten Battle Lines and Storm. The points are 36 to 26 for the Tau. Going into my turn four for the Tau. Turn four, my Montaka ability is gone. No more lethals. And that is no good. I love my lethals. So let's see what my cards are. We have Storm Hostile Objective. We're going to take back the center and extend battle lines. Same cards Koei just got, and those are pretty good cards. So I already have extend battle lines done. Just need to storm. So those were pretty good draws for me. Do get another 9 on the primary. So it's going to bring me up to 45, I do believe. So it's 45 to 26 for the points. And I'm going to move on to my movement and see if I can kind of either pop enough points where Cody can't come back or wound his army enough where he just can't crawl back into the game. So we're going to go on to my movement and see if I can wipe out these dirty, humid scum. For my movement, I once again moved up everything pretty far. I tagged onto this objective with the Tetra. I did move them up a little bit first, and I realized I could probably fit on this objective a little bit. So I got on there. I moved all the broad tides out to get some shots into the middle. I would rather kill the Rogal Dorm, but I need to kill his tank in the middle. Far side moved out here to blow up some more indirect fire stuff, and we're going to see if we can seal this game in here. So if we do a good turn here, I think Cody is pretty much done. On to my shooting. Turn four for the Tau. I pretty much shot up this Vanquisher, getting me Storm Hostile Objective. Fireside here, between his charges and all his shots, cleared out all these batteries back here. Shot in the Rogal Door and didn't do much damage to him, but I did get 10 on my secondary, so it brings up to 55 to 26. And Cody on his turn four, he saw his objective, so he goes up to 29 points, so it's 29 to 55. His draw wasn't the best behind enemy lines and secure no man's land. So he's going to try to do some revenge killing, and I think that's probably going to be game. We'll let you know how what goes on in the revenge phase, and we'll be back. We're going to call it at the end of the turn four for the guard. He There's just not much left he can do. I did and like the Montca and all the vehicles. He didn't have a lot of infantry, so I was able to punish a lot of his vehicles pretty early. And so that is the game. Lots of fun. I think the map was fun. The armies were fun. Thanks for coming, Cody. Always a blast. And thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.